Ambassador of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic. is just overwhelming. I know we've been subjected to a disinformation campaign, but the evidence of the repression and how it has grown there, particularly against the church and the religion, is when I say the church, we know that the predominant church is the Catholic church, but also what they call the evangelist movement. That's their name for anything Protestant. Well, the Protestants are, are taking it on the chin also. And they've, they've gone so much further he, uh, a Monsignor was in recently, and he told me that in reality, if they were free to speak, that the, just the overwhelming majority of the people look to us as the only saviors on the horizon. And we still feel that what we're... Our prim- Hi. Hello, Mr. President. Uh, How are you? Uh, Where do I sit? Right, right, right next to me. Right 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 which stuff for law now it's country boy. <laughs> this is this is the room. The reason we're not in the Oval Office is they're in there uh, tearing it all to pieces right for the television. <laughs> That's to come up. So this is where I hide when I have opportunities to hide. It's good that you have a place to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, secretary members of the college don't have that. Well, Only those from North Carolina. Yeah, that's right. Let me let me say that I, I spent yesterday, yesterday uh, traveling back up here. I drive uh, most of the time, and I I regret that the uh, speaker did not uh, act differently on your request. I think that that, that uh, would have been a good thing to do. I think that uh, if you're going to get the last word, I'm sure you're going to go to two at uh, at noon, noon. Yeah. and uh, that will I'm sure. Get a lot of <laughs> phones <laughs> jingling, and uh, I, I have, a, I still have a, an open mind. Since I think that my vote on Salt Two last week indicates that I, I try to find ways to support my president. I was the only member of my party in our delegation, and uh, 
the some of the problems which uh, which I have had about this. Uh, Good morning. Well, <laughs> hello there. Hello. How are you? Hi, President. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really a thrill for us to be here. <laughs> no, this is more. <laughs> no, well, pleased to see you here. Well, let's see. Well, it was a pleasure. I've been having some trouble. <laughs> We're going to see if we can fix that. <laughs> but I was thinking maybe I could get a lesson from you. I hear you're pretty, good, pretty nice with the putter yourself. Um, well, now it's a rather unusual putter. You really want to see? I've, I've heard that you have something you'd like to show me, and I'd like to see that. <laughs> really, you could almost use it for fishing. saw that it was going over the rise and past the hole too far, you could uh, that, that <laughs> intercept. That'd be great for fast greens. <laughs> <though. laughs> uh, I have one that I've, that I've brought for you as a, as a present, and it's one that I've uh, used a model just like on occasion. And, uh, some of the tournaments I think I have seen this particular putter. That's very popular now. It's a new time. No. We we got one here with no strings on it. <laughs> <You'd like laughs> <to> strike. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Ah. <laughs> so it's very nice. Let's have a program. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Something for you too that in there are golf balls. And uh, they happen to have a name on them so that if you really get mad and want to cut up a ball, use one of these. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate that. Okay. And if you leave some reading a book or something, you use a book. <laughs> thank you. Well, I'll give you back the ball. No, I brought that for you. Being the putter. Well, so thank you very much. There's a couple other balls there you can practice with. I know you have all that spare time on your hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tear down the tennis court and put up a putting ground. <laughs> they won't go. Well, you've got them. enough grounds around here. You you should be able to sneak one in someplace. You know, kind of a pitch and putt course out there. Eisenhower used to do it all the time. Cousin Eisenhower had a green, did he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, he had a... I guess he could hit about, uh, I'd say, 60 yards. You know, for pitching, pretty good. I'm surprised President Ford didn't uh, put it back in when he was here as well. <laughs> <laughs> President Bill Williams and John Morris are here with the U.S. Golf Association. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. Hello, Dave. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for seeing Ray and his wife and ourselves. Pleased to see you all. Have you here? Well, sir, we brought you something from the Golf House Museum and Library. This is the first, uh, first print, a limited edition print from our museum. For heaven's sakes. Well, thank you very much. I hope you can find a spot. Place for it. I certainly will. I have that framed right now. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you. Key change. Yes. You can use that putter on some of those un, un, uh, unwilling senators on the contrary. Uh, 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 is, <laughs> is that the right club, though? <laughs> I think anything will work across the knee, won't it? Some of the sand I have. Yes, sir. Okay, Ted, brace yourself. <laughs> I'm sure that it's often to try and tell a story to a golfer. You probably know them all. But the story of the fellow that sliced and out of bounds. First hole, when he got down there, and the policeman was standing waiting with the ball. I haven't heard this. And he says, uh, "You're going." He says, "Yes." He says, "You, uh, the car you hit was 
It's a police car. Right. Oh, he said, I'm sorry. He says, uh, what do you think you're going to do about that? And the officer said, well, I figured that if I roll my right hand. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's really an honor to have been with you, and I appreciate it. Maria and I really appreciate you having me. Well, listen, we're pleased to, to have you here. Did you get it? Yeah, but it'd be nice to do a family picture here. That would be nice. Why don't you get in the middle and then get a nicer picture? It's prettier that way. <laughs> there. Thank you, sir. Well, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, it's a great pleasure. Nice meeting you. Real pleasure. Thank you. Our oldest U.S. Open champion. You don't look too bad to me. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a picture with you? Sure. Would that be a, I'd like to. Hello to the president. Sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Get one with Maria. Yeah. Well, how about you three guys? Here's the house golfer. <laughs> Here's the house golfer. <laughs> we'll, we'll get them in the middle. That's, that's what they should have made. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this is Appreciate it. Good to see Thank you. And good luck with the party. And for this, not at all. Have a wonderful trip to California whenever you can get out of here. Well, now it'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank nice you. to see you. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank I understand it was one of your better performances. Well, <laughs> well, come on, come on. Yeah. Where do you all meet? You know, yeah. John. Hi. All right. Hi. All right. Hi. 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 It's how it's how it's it's nice to see you, John. Sure. I mean, I know we talked once before about this, but I think the situation has changed somewhat, and I'm going to, I'm going to try again to go to Conference because I know that there was a feeling, and, and you shared. Maybe we'll just simply entrench the Sandinistas further in doing this, but that's not true anymore. Now we've, we've been in close touch with the presidents of the other four democracies down there, Guatemala, Honduras, Costa Rica, and El Salvador. And those presidents believe now that uh, it's absolutely necessary that we provide that, that aid, their total support. And we've had some other people in here, religious figures from Nicaragua, and telling us it's how much worse it has become there, how much more oppressive this government is. Hey, how are you? Yes. Jim, like, hi, Jim. How are you? So you. Well, here, let's say it. <laughs> well, we're very pleased that you would take a few minutes to visit with us. Well, I'm pleased that you came down. We, I know since the last time in the other vote, there's been a sizable change. What, we, what we're talking about is this amendment, yeah. the leading up or down vote to, that these fellows have put together with $300 million for aid to the other four democracies, non-military aid, and then the $100 million for the other. But the thing is, all of that money, none of that money is new money. All of that is money already appropriated. The 300 million is of some State Department, some AID, funds of that kind. And as you know, the other is kind of defense. But uh, we just feel that it has reached a point, and now the whole situation has developed further down there to where, in spite of all the disinformation that they're so successfully putting out, all four presidents of the uh, other four democracies, Honduras, Guatemala, Costa Rica, and Salvador, are hot. Oh
enjoy stories that uh, sometimes you might question whether it's a good story to tell. And uh, so on the phone, I was telling her this story finished, and there was nothing but dead silence. And I thought, oh, oh I've done it now. And then the coldly official voice of an operator said, to me, were you speaking? Well, you've been cut off. When I got her back, I said, where was I in the story? We were cut off. We were cut off way back in the very beginning, but the operator left me finish the story <laughs> before she registered her reception. <laughs> conversations about the telephone wires with the children. Oh, well, yeah, we have a station wagon full of them and on, a, on the way out to the ranch. I found out that uh, I could tell them that I could hear them going on the telephone wires and I would start telling them all about phone conversations that I was hearing. Usually, uh, I could tie up to some friends and refer to them, to the children themselves. Can you make up stories as you went along? Oh, yes, yes. Well, I photographed Mrs. Reagan dancing more than anybody you know. <laughs> you want me looking into the land? Yes, I love it. I love it. The, uh,